my friends, thank you for uh, joining me again. I wanted to share with you some of the, uh, I don't want to say new, newer molds, but I want to um, show you about a great sale going on at, with my friends at Dave Deco. They have uh, wonderful pricing this time of the year, and guess what, it's also in time to uh, take a look at my molds. So what I'd like to do in the next uh, uh, 40 minutes or so, I would like to share with you uh, my three mold, also uh, show you uh, newer ideas to work with my DC paint stencil, as well as, um, you know, I haven't been able to, to plan do much social media in the last in the last month or so, so I figured this would be a good opportunity for me to answer any questions and uh, have a good conversation with my following. Um, I will be traveling soon. I'm going to be going out of the country again, and I figured just before I go, this will be a good a good opportunity. So I'm gonna go ahead and start. Um, I will do uh, the entire live in English. If um, if you have any question in Spanish, you can always contact me um, via direct message. We will do our best to, to answer you soon. Um, okay, so let me show you again what's going on at Base Deco. I'm gonna start by, if you can bring the camera a little bit closer. And uh, I just wanna go, you know, I don't have my entire um, line of molds in front of me, but Many of you have asked me if they can get a holiday collection mold anywhere. It, it, really, the answer for that is you can get it through Bake Deco, okay? Bake Deco does ship everywhere in the world. And uh, I, I have a number of molds, you know, like this one is in the shape of an ornament. And I, I'm not going to really demonstrate this today. I'm just going to show you my, my newer uh, mold. We have a Santa body right here. Um, I don't know if it's called Santa Mani, but it's, it's a tablet. Uh, and then one of my favorite molds is uh, a copy of a, a copy in the, in, in, in the shape of a 30, 3262, an already existing mold for, from Reyes, which is um, the shape of a coin, okay? Fits very good with your boxes. It's got a very subtle snowflake design, and it's also a great seller. Some, some are just fun, like this one was a Santa stuck, stuck in the chimney. Really cool to, uh, to decorate and um, always brings a smile, okay? Um, and then I have some more simpler yet elegant designs I want to believe, just uh, a tree, okay? Uh, and one of my favorite ones, which I think, um, I think I have one of these in my uh, wine cooler, so it's the bell, okay, this little bell. Um, and I just thought about it, you know, I have one of these in, in, in my wine cooler that needs to be finished. So why don't you pull the camera back the way it is and uh, go get me that, that mold, Nikki. Nikki is my, my assistant. And, um, and, and also, that, that, that will be good because many of the questions that I get is, okay, how often in advance can I, can I decorate these molds? Do I have to finish the same day? And the, quest, the answer for that will be, and you can set it right here. And uh, the answer for that will be, ideally you want to, uh, to decorate one day, uh, cast the same day as possible, the next day you want to fill, and later, depending on the feelings that you have in the bonbons, uh, you may be able to finish the same day, but I like to give at least a two-day process, okay? So if you are feeling, you want to make sure that whatever feelings you have um, have already crystallized. In the case of ganache, you have to be very careful because I've seen many classes, many, uh, not many classes, but I've seen other tutorials or, cor or courses where, you know, they apply the ganache and then quickly they, 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 they finish. It is okay only if you have considered the feeling, okay? Uh, there is a, a one-shot machinery for chocolate that actually dispenses the chocolate together with the, the filling. And uh, in this case, the filling has been formulated so that it can reach crystallization point uh, it, together with the outside layer of uh, 
a shell of chocolate. So you gotta be careful always with the fillings that you use, especially if you are going to treat to close and, and do a one day process, okay? So in this case, we made this mold, I think, I would say like a couple of, like at the beginning of uh, December, maybe 10 days, okay? So we can bring the phone and I can show you uh, quickly uh, what, it, what it looks like. I'm going to uh, basically uh, show you over here. So I'll just uh, show you, and excuse me for using my, my fingers. Uh, they're clean hands, but I have cocoa butter on my, on my, on my nails. So let's see. So this is this is a, always a fun little, little, little shell. And uh, somebody asked me how I how I let the molds uh, after you remove the chocolate. What I do? One of the things I like to sometimes do with molds is uh, after I apply the chocolate, I sometimes and this depends if you have time. But if you have time. It's, it's helpful to put them upside down like this. And um, again, only if you have the, the time, but, but you will want to do this. I have these bars of acrylic, uh, food safe acrylic or polycarbonate, you can also use. And you can just let, let the shells hang like this and you can always clean them with a, with a spatula. Nikki, you wanna pass me a, a, a glass? And I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you, I'm not going to do it on all of them all, but I'm just going to, to show you on, on one, okay? Now, here, get the phone and then just follow me. So, but before we do that, we're going to just come this way, you know? Don't put it down, just keep it, keep it like that, okay? okay? And try not to shake it. So, what we're going to, I'm a very bossy guy, but I want to give you a good, a good experience. Um, I just noticed on this mold, which happens also to be a, one of my holiday molds, I have one layer of color. I'm gonna go ahead and put a second layer. I like to put two thin layers. There are times when I just go with one, one layer, but in this case, I'm gonna go with two, okay? So follow me. I'm going to take my uh, butter, put in this way. Uh, I would like to use the cocoa butter at 30, anywhere between 29 and 40 degrees Celsius, okay? In this case, I'm going to be using turquoise color uh, from Chef Robert, which by the way, today I learned that you can actually, you can also get my cocoa butter colors. I'm coming that way, so please step back. Uh, I'm using my cocoa, I'm using, you can also buy my color cocoa butter collections. I have 10 different colors. And you can get this also from uh, Bake Deco, okay? Uh, they they are out at the moment, but they will be placed in an order soon. Okay, so let's go let's go spray this. Okay, so I will just the way I spray, I'm using a badger uh, airbrush, and I'm just I don't I, I I love this. I don't really care about the opening size because I can adjust it by moving back and forth. I can adjust the flow of color, okay? So now it's coming out. What I'll do, I go gentle. I only need one more coat, so I go, I go gentle. Don't do it too far away, do it rather close. Okay, I'm using this, this gun. So that's good. Now, I just, I basically, uh, at this point, I will take it to a, to a heat gun, to a heat, to a hot plate, I should say. But uh, rather than that, I'm just going to take, normally I place uh, two sheets of uh, paper and a, and a hot plate. I have my heat and melt coming out on the market next, next, January or February, but in the meantime, I'm gonna show you with this. You can also use a warm um, a buffet warmer, uh, and then just clean this, okay? So at this point, we take the mold uh, to a wine cooler, or we let it crystallize to room temperature, okay? So let's, let's put the camera back, and, uh, and then I'll show you, um, I will show you how I uh, cast. 
okay? Very basic for many of you, but um, I always get the question, uh, there are times when I cast uh, differently, so I'm gonna show you one way. Bring me my, my already uh, mold in the cooler, and uh, uh, the, mold, the mold that's got chocolate. Okay, and um, I'm gonna go ahead and fill one of my, my new uh, mold, mold Christmas molds. Here, we have one already already done, but can you ask this? But uh, I want to show you, you know, what it looks like. Usually, like this, you, you open it, you clean it. In this case, uh, Greyas molds have already been washed and cleaned. Still, I recommend you always uh, wipe, sanitize them before you use. Okay, uh, because of the. Thank you. Uh, actually, no. I, I need uh, something to open this. Yeah, that one, you had it right there. Put it down. Thank you. All right. So in this case, we are going to pretend that I clean it, okay? So, my friend, pass me the, the cotton swab. And then I'll show you how I feel it. Go ahead and get a, another spray pack for me. And I'm gonna let you take over the, from the back, from the back. And just have one ready. All right. Perfect. Okay, so go get the phone and follow me with the phone. Put it right there. All right. So I'm using. You can feel this mold directly. Uh, from the machine, but I'm going to assume not everybody has a, has a temporary machine. So, um, for that reason, I do it this way. I don't like to make the bags too tight. I like to leave a little bit of room, okay? And uh, I will. So, what I'll do here, I'm going to start filling first this part. Again, you don't, you don't have to use a bag like this. You can just feel, tap a little bit more. Now I go this way. The first thing I like to do is the little pause in the center. Now I can go ahead and feel the other layers. You can order this mold now from Bait Deco. You can also um, go through the through the Reyes, Reyes website. Anyways, I feel the chocolate has to be in temper, perfect temper status, per temper con condition. And then carefully over here, they're very tiny. I'm just gonna go like that. You can keep the camera right there. You don't need to follow me. Then I'm going to bring this over here. Tap. Okay. So now you can be, uh, uh, what's the word? Creative, okay? You can put candy, ginger, the trocitos de menta, little bit of mint, little bit of whatever you want on the back of it. So here I have a wet proof raspberry. And I'm gonna put, you know, maybe some here and there. I'm not gonna finish the entire uh, piece with that, just to give you to give you the idea, okay? So I also have some. Uh, this one happens to be mango, but again, this can be pieces of toffee. This can be uh, your favorite candy. A inclusion type of dredges. It could even be, you know, I'm gonna say it could even be a, a pieces of uh, candied fruit. 
But anyhow, you, you can do that all around. The idea is that you allow this to crystallize, so you can just keep the camera right there. And then, um, eventually, this one is missing the fruit because I just thought about showing you this. But then you just unmold. It should, it should require a gentle tap. Okay, so this is the first two pieces that come up. I'm gonna go ahead and go. Okay. Gentle. Of course, they wanna be stubborn. Perfect, so I'm gonna go like this. Okay, so now I'm going to show you, come here. Hold, hold the phone for me like that, and try not to shake. Then the idea is that you take this guy, you close it like this, and we're going to place that simply here. Okay, so you see what it looks like? It stays like that, okay? And just keep it, keep it like that. That way you don't shake, okay? But um, then you can just go, remember, supposed to have fruit over here, so you can now go this way, and then eventually it's going to stop. And then it will allow you to continue, pum, 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 with the next feelings. And then, in this case, I always put the wrong side first, the wrong sides first, the, the wrong sides. But, like a little bit of pressure. Here. Then it needs. Again, I, I'm not using gloves. Now here, this may be the only time when it may need a, it may need glue, okay? So what I can do for that, I will just, uh, I got it, no? I will just take a little bit of uh, chocolate in a little spoon, you know? Just like that. Then I'm going to wait just a bit. Okay, so you got it like that, okay? So now uh, I will show you because what, what, can, what you can do with that is also um, you can always, um, Milk chocolate, white chocolate, it can be whatever whatever works good for you, okay? So let me just make a little bit of space for me here. And um, so I, you can put them in a box and sell it, you know, this, the, the sky's the limit. But it's very simple, you just put it, flatten it, and you have a box of uh, a nice gift, okay? So this can be just your house-made chocolate. If you do bean to bar, this could be also chocolate with broken little pieces of uh, uh, mint, candy mint, candy mint. Uh, it could be different, different things. Now, um, I have another one over here that I'm going to finish, and then I'll show you. Uh, this one, obviously, I started already. Is it, is it checking okay? Is it viewing okay? I'm asking you, say yes or no. Uh, yes. Okay, perfect. Now we're communicating. We need to talk.
I'm talking about applying the, the cost of the And look what happened with the school. It's melting down a little bit. So uh, what happened, I can just push it down. But I don't want to touch it with my hands because they're a little bit sticky right now. So um, what I'll do is head. I'm going to um, ask you, Nikki, can you read uh, from the wine cooler to this mode so I can talk about it. So I have two more techniques that I want to show you. And, uh, and then I can, I love to answer questions if you have any questions. So I love to, to interact. So don't forget, uh, Bay Deco has a special a cell going on. Some items, uh, not necessarily my, my, my collection, but they're up to 60% clearance on some uh, great pricing for holiday products, including chocolate molds and others. But uh, pay them a visit. You can get all of my, my mold collection, also my, my new mold, um, and coming up, the Chef Rubber color collection by, by myself. Um, okay, so. One way to create a negative space on tablets. This is one of my favorite tablets also. This is um, uh, available also on Bay Deco and it's also available in Chef Rubber and other places. It's not exclusive to, to, uh, to Bay Deco, but um, I, will, I, I think that every time I talk about my holiday collection, I don't do justice to this. This, was, this is an all-inclusive mall for everybody, Nikki, and I never talk about these ones too. So in this case, I created a negative space by applying a chocolate into the groove, into the contour of the mold, okay? So what you do then, just have, just, and it just comes off. Then um, I'm gonna just move it on the side. You can always uh, let that mold, let that chocolate rec recycle. Don't do what some people do. They take their chocolate, tempered chocolate, put it back into the machine, and then what happens? that machine starts spitting chocolate because this is already tempered. When it, thought, when it goes into temp, uh, tempered chocolate, but at a, at a, at a warmer temperature, and um, it starts to create, it's like, a, like an avalanche, okay? And it could affect the, 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 the machine. So anyways, once you have like that, like, uh, I did it all right, I should put it back, but uh, basically, you will we will airbrush, okay, and, uh, and and then I'll show you. So keep it over here. I'll be back in one minute. Don't change, don't move the camera on me because I want to show you one really cool technique. I want to here. So I'm gonna show you. Okay, so you follow me with, with the phone, Nikki. All right, perfect. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to, how, how, how I will add color to it. So, my gun is still at the correct temperature, okay? Uh, I like to work at around 20 degrees Celsius, my room, so. See, still good. So now what you do? And then basically here, do a close up. That's how you create that effect. Okay. So, okay. So that's how I do it. Now, don't go too far, Nikki. Now I'm gonna show you uh, with uh, with my easy. The, this is the you already know the easy paint collection, but this happens to also be one of mine. We have. Uh, we created multiple effects with this and I'll show you but um, in the case <clears throat> Let me just shut this off. If you want to use this um, uh, the, the stencil I strongly recommend please do not freeze the mold. Okay, I know some of you have done it successfully But but freezing the mold is not a good idea because that can co that can create condensation which can affect the proper crystallization of cocoa water. So the best thing is just uh, make sure the mold is at uh, room temperature or you can you can uh, temp it to be around 19 degrees 
or no more than 20 degrees Celsius, okay? Then you place the, 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 easy, paint, the easy paint, but don't move the camera. You are going to airbrush, you can come a little closer though. You're gonna make sure you keep it straight. So if you move the mold, the, the mold you should also move this, okay? And of course, that is the, my, uh, my compressor, okay? So that is the compressor, I'm sorry. But, uh, so I'm gonna show you how to keep it on the side. So the idea is don't move the mold while you do this. Don't do this. If you move the mold, you also move the, the gun. Are you following me, Nikki? With yep. So if you move the mold, you move the gun. Every time you move both. Don't just do this. Don't. Okay? Don't move the mold and not move the gun. Otherwise, you are you're not going to have an even application of color. Okay? So I'm going to go ahead and do it here. I'm used to do it faster. And I may do it in opposite ways. It's just how my brain works. But in any case, I'm still balancing. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and finish all of it. Oops, I forgot to turn this side. The cocoa butter, you want it to be around 27 or 29 degrees, okay? 27 to 29 degrees. And also, a class, that's my recommendation. Don't, don't keep going, just you do it 27 to 29 degrees, but don't be afraid to do trial and error, okay? Uh, we can give you lots of, uh, <clears throat> Lots of advice on temperatures, but you can, all these are guidelines. You have to understand how cocoa butter, how chocolate behaves under different scenarios. So it's very important that you always keep that in mind, okay? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna come back over here, and then here we're gonna, we're gonna show you, let me just clean, clean my hands, don't go too far. After that, you can just wait for me and I'll be right back home. I will, I will show you. Yeah. You can see the lines. And we have passed me that other one more. So using the same the same technique, you can you can do. Uh, if you use the mold this way, the stencil, but then do the opposite, you can with a little bit of creativity, you can always create these effects. All right. So again, that's just with a bit of uh, creativity. And then also another mold of mine that is available in, in with Bank Deco is the Turon mold. Look at look at the tree here. I it's looking it got a little bit warm, but still it's keeping its, its interesting shape, right? Yeah. Still it still looks like Christmassy. Alright? So now I'm gonna show you um, how I cast the molds, okay? Um, so I have I have this mold here. So the best, the best way, I can always uh, keep it more like, like that, okay? So you can fill the mold with chocolate from the machine. I use FBM, I love this machine. It's just uh, <coughs> the Proxima is the one that I use. Anyways, I'm going to uh, apply chocolate. Then you just, well, you'll see, let me just make sure that I have everything that I need. I want to keep, move a little bit, I want to keep things very clean, so I'm, I'm just going to use this glass. I want to keep my mold super clean, okay? So, what I do, tap. So 
So don't judge me up based on how I'm placing chocolate over here. I want to keep it clean. And I just want to show you the idea of putting the excess chocolate upside down. So I'm gonna tap. Then, okay. Do me a favor. Give me a, a spatula that is now uh, that is not wet. This one has water. So that's you want to make somebody uh, out of control. Given this, this one's dry. Okay. Now. So basically. When is this important? When is it important to cast this way? I will tell you when, you know. I like to create this effect. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tap down a little bit. Like, like that. Okay, so now <clears throat> I will place down over here in between my, my molds. Can you move this? It's easier if you move this one. Do not put this one more farther out. Hold this for me. Keep it that. Don't move. Just keep it like that, okay? You may, you put it closer. I need it. I need you to do it like this. You with me? Yeah. All right. So see, you wanna keep it like that. Now, uh, why do I do it like that? Why is it important to do it that way? If this technique works good if you are doing two, two half shells. So if you're joining two halves and um, uh, basically you want two halves and, and um, you want to join them, you are going to need a little bit more contact surface. So by doing it that way, you create a little bit of a thicker shell and, um, and that creates better contact surface. So thank you, Nikki, you're the best. So now I have a glove. And I want to show you, for example, if I do, if I do this, uh, this type of uh, bonbons where I combine, I combine two. I want to make sure I have enough contact surface to to do that. Okay. So um, if 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 I do anything like like this, I also want to make sure I have enough enough contact contact surface. So I. Uh, I want to, I'm gonna carefully put in this back and showing you. These are not necessarily Christmassy, but um, we've been very, uh, very busy working for my trip. We just came back from Kuwait and now I go back to Kuwait uh, again soon. You can just hold the phone like this. All right, so now, now keep it like that. I'm gonna. I'm gonna show you now. Uh, now I want to. Uh, I don't want to have the contact surface anymore. So bear with me, guys. Oh, sorry. All right. How am I doing this? There you go. Like that. All right. So now it shows you, my dear. Okay. No. Just do it. Don't move it anymore, okay? Yep. So now I wait, it's still, it's still too wet. But again, I'm trying to create contact surface. So I'm going to wait a few, a few, uh, a few minutes, okay? And that. Uh, so that's it on my holiday demo collection. And remember to go to Bay Deco and learn more about my molds. So I love to answer questions, comments, uh, again, I won't be on Instagram for a while, so this will be a good opportunity. Right. Still, this is nice and crystallizing. Really good. All right. No questions in English 3. No questions in English 2. No questions in, in English 1. Ok, amigos eh, de habla hispana, alguna pregunta, estoy, como pueden ver, enseñando mi, mis últimos moldes 
en el monte del arbolito, que se pueden conseguir a través de Beiteco. Un abrazo a todos. Eh, ¿Alguna pregunta, comentario? Es lo que os Sí. This is using my, my easy paint stencil. Everybody's quiet today. All right, so now come closer. This is now almost getting ready to cut, but still a little bit shiny. I need to wait a little bit more. Uh, when, when do I do this? Cuando hago esto? Es solamente cuando quiero una capa de chocolate un poco más gruesecita, okay? Sobre todo si son dos mitades redondas. Eh, es cuando quiero tener su, suficiente área de contacto para poder unirlas y, y ayuda a hacerlo de esa, de esa forma es decir, tengo estas dos tablas dos tablitas de policarbonato y bueno, las uso para eso y también eh, es, un alime, es un alimento es un producto eh, no tóxico ¿sí? bueno, ya ahorita está, está un poco seco ya empieza a secar Es decir, es buen momento para limpiar. Entonces, I'm gonna wait for Unity to have a good, a good cleanup, a good fix of the camera. Okay, like that. Y quiero que vean, I want you to see now. I clean this way. Don't move it, I just move it. See if we have a little bit more chocolate. We just go this way. Okay. So this is also a good uh, a good bonbon mold that you can use to put together two halves. That's why I made it a little bit thicker. Okay, so that's that's the only reason. Um, and uh, I'm just gonna keep it over here. So what we done today? We made uh, these uh, trees. Apply the velvet finish on this one. Again, you go to Bay Deco, you can get my molds. If it is the holiday collection, you get that through Bay Deco. Any other of my molds, you can go to Chef Robert too. My colored cocoa butters are selling uh, already in Chef Robert. Bay Deco also has them. Or uh, if they are out of it, they will have them. I have 10 different colors. Uh, all were inspired by the Aztecs uh, collection of colors, jewelry colors so any any are there any questions i don't want to be the only one talking let's see nope. uh please explain the function of the wine cooler the wine cooler uh, the wine cooler accelerates the crystallization process um of the cocoa butter and i would love to tell you more about it i have a class coming up online uh in january so the wine cooler again um it's a very complex way if I answer that right now, but the main idea is that it, it will provide the correct environment for the cocoa butter to crystallize because it has to be crystallized uh, at a maximum point in order, in order for the chocolate to combine and create a, a perfect shine. The wine cooler also is a good way to keep your uh, bonbons. How do you keep the airbrush in temp? I keep it, uh, I have a machine that's going to be available at the, at the beginning of next year, it's called the uh, Heat and Melt, and you, I just keep it in, 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 in that machine. You can also use other type of appliances, you just modulate the, the temperature. Uh, do you make your own chocolate for your bonbons? No, I do not, I only use Felclean. I use Felclean chocolate, uh, amazing, feelings, chocolate. Uh, they also have marzipan, poetine, wonderful chocolate from Swiss, made in Swiss. Do you temper your cocoa butter or just leave it till it reaches 29 and use it? Uh, so I've done it both ways. Ideally, it's better to, to just uh, uh, follow the, temper, the, the, the crystallization curve, bring it to uh, temp 50 and then pull down to around 27, then bring back up to 29. 
I I also talk about it in my in my in my online course. You know, different ways to temper cocoa butter. You can also use it with nitrio. You can also table it. Uh, how do you make that gloss in the bonbons? The, the gloss is going to be a combination of multiple factors. I explained that in my online on my online class. Uh, but I can tell you right now, it's also it's, it's not just one factor. It's going to have to do with uh, how clean the mold is, the state of the mold, ventilation of the room, humidity, proper proper temper. You know, so it's it's a product that. Uh, combines multiple aspects. Did you freeze the did you freeze the tree in front of you before spraying? Uh, correct. I freeze it, but um, I, I prepare it for the temperature, for the velvet finish. I do a couple of things to make sure that when, when you touch it, it doesn't come to the finger. And I also make sure that when you when you do it, the velvet doesn't come loose. I explain that on my online class into detail. I cannot give that, that, those, that technical information. It would not be fair if I give technical information for people who pay for the class. That's fine. Yes. Um, why not uh, Guitard or Calibot? Why not? Why not Helkly? You know? <laughs> I think it's um, based on um, not only taste, but also um, knowing the company and knowing their uh, the way they treat their, their employees, their cacao farmers, is is it's a very personal decision, you know. Um, I, I love their quality. I've been using Felkley for at least nine years now. And I don't see I don't see myself using any other brand other than Felkley. It's, it's just the best in my opinion. Hi from Belgium. Hello, <laughs> how are you? Uh, how could I find the online class? The online class, the best way, just send, send me a direct message. And uh, we're running a, a super behind right now with my staff on vacation because of the holidays. But um, we will get back to you in the next four or five days. Uh, and, and we'll give you all of the details. The best way is to do to send me a message within the week. Through, uh, send a message to this page, to this Luis Amado 777. I'm sorry. All right, so I got about three more minutes, and uh, I orga I set back the 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 little tree. I need to come up with a name for the little tree. But it's nice. And you wanna do a close up? Follow me. You know this. So this one is. Not painted velvet, and this one is painted velvet. Okay, so this guy was crooked, but I went back and put it together. So the idea you can find this mold and others through Bake Deco. Okay, so let me just show you again. This one is my um, the bell mold. Let's just take one out and place right here. See, you can also see. And I have a bunch of other molds that you can get from Bake Deco. All right, my friend, time is almost done. So uh, I'm gonna get ready to start my, my next class. Um, I appreciate you. I want to say if you're following me from Kuwait, thanks again for all the, for all the wonderful uh, uh, love, you know, all the wonderful smiles. I miss you all. How do you temper the little chef rubber color tubes? Uh, the little chef rubber color tubes. I, I'm, I'm sorry, excuse my ignorance. I don't know what, the, what those are. Hello, hello, Toronto. My dear, how are you? Uh, gracias a ti. Que, 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 muchísimas gracias. Bueno, I'm gonna give somebody the, actually, what, what we'll do, I can just, let's just organize this a little bit, Nikki, whatever. We, whatever the molds we can put back into the into the you know where you know where they go right but uh, I'm just gonna move around here and and answer any questions that you might have 
Hola, my, hola, my friends. Okay, so my, my live is done, but, uh, but I can talk Spanish now. I can talk English, but so I hope you enjoy. Alex, un abrazo hasta, hasta Uruguay. Un abrazo. Gracias. Thank you. Thank you. No, you can always, um, you can always uh, message me if you want to to learn any more any more of my my techniques. You can always always message me. ¿Qué tipo de extractor, Morgan? Te recomienda el tipo de extractor. Eh, la verdad no sé. Es es eh, es, es eh, la persona que me que me, me alguien más lo puso. Yo nomás sé que, que extrae la manteca de cacao y esto es, 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 es casero, no tiene marca, me lo, me lo hicieron especialmente. So, yes. ¿Alguna otra pregunta? Thank you, thank you guys for all of your support. Again, I, I have a class coming up. Uh, it will be online class. We also have uh, classes in person. Um, and I know many, many, many of you uh, have contacted us already. Uh, so thank you for being patient. We are hoping to get back to every one of you in the next, in the next two weeks. Uh, right now, I'm getting ready to to go to the back to the Middle East. And um, but check check out uh, uh, my 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 site. I have lots of new ideas. I have lots of new. Uh, uh, thank you, thank you, Denmark. Um, lots of new. Uh, pro, uh, ideas for next year so um, I will also be coming to Milan Italy we're coming back to Turkey and so I hope to see you there I, I obviously coming back to Kuwait um, so I'm gonna wait to you guys Ok, eh, viven en Miami. Que Dios te bendiga a ti también. Un abrazo a, a Miami. Eh, mándame un correo eh, y, y con cualquier pregunta. Si, si gustas eh, venir a Michigan, estamos a, a tus órdenes. Am I coming to Toronto? Eh, hopefully, hopefully next year. Uh, but I don't have anything set in Canada yet. Una, saludos a Las Vegas. Un abrazo, Tote. Eh, I will also be doing a class in Las Vegas, hopefully next year. You know, uh, but uh, at this point, you know, I we also have a class uh, in Spanish. Tengo una clase en español en línea también. Me, si me contactan por correo electrónico, yo con gusto les les paso información. Yo soy de Guadalajara, de Guadalajara. Soy soy mexicano. Pero a veces me siento de tanto, o sea, nunca de tantos países. Poland, I, I, I would love to go to Poland. I would love to. Uh, of course, um, I, I think it, it would be a, a, a dream come true, come to Poland. You know, we have good many followers from that, and uh, I would love to. Uh, so, ¿quién dijo puro? Ah, claro que puro. Arri, arriba las chivas, papá. Puro guanatos. Uh, 100%, mi querido tocayo. I'm from Guadalajara. Mi correo, my, my email, ok, I'm going to write it down over here. I mean, my, mi, mi, mi correo lo puedes ver en, en mi perfil de Instagram, así de sencillo. Pero lo voy a tratar de escribir aquí, Choco. Nicky, we can go ahead and start working on, the, on that mall too. If you want, just take your time. Um, Amigos, I have to go. I appreciate your time. Uh, keep in touch. I gave you my email if you want to learn more about my, my classes. I have con, uh, different type of classes. Cristo, yes, I, agree. I, 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 I remember. So listen, no, this, is, this is great. I have a copy of the magazine. I want to... I want to go to Poland if uh, if I come to an agreement. You know, I would love to, to do something. Uh, feliz día, feliz día. Uh, yo sé que siempre uh, mis amigos de habla hispana 
eh, al, al, al último tienen preguntas, qué lindo. I need to go to Brazil. I'm, I'm talking already with a wonderful chef from, from Brazil. I'm hoping to go there next year. Ciudad de México, Juan. Un abrazo hasta la Ciudad de México. Eh, cada seis meses. Ahí vamos a estar. I'm going to be in Mexico City. La Ciudad de México vamos a ir a Mexipan, ¿ok? We're going to be in Mexipan next year with lots of uh, product, lots of ideas. Colombia, eh, ojalá que pronto. Yo, yo voy a donde me inviten, ¿sí? A donde me inviten yo voy, encantado en la vida, con, con muchas eh, técnicas nuevas y, y siempre dando lo mejor de, de nosotros. Bueno, nos vemos. Estamos en contacto. Un abrazo a todos.